Hello, I am Nana and welcome, welcome. We're about to have a great boatload of fun today. And first of all, I want you to tell me who is joining us today. We'd love to hear from where you are because we're so far south. It's beginning to be a little bit of uh, spring here, just beginning, just beginning. You can see we're still wearing sort of puffy vests. Okay, today we're going to be celebrating President's Day. And we have a very easy but a very good lesson. And I think you'll enjoy it. So, let's get started. First of all, I have a piece of red. It looks kind of orange in this light. It's red construction paper. You can use plain copy paper if you prefer. It doesn't matter. I have a scratch sheet up underneath here to help hold it down. And I have turned it vertically like this because we're going to be painting Abraham Lincoln's hat. And if you remember your history, his hat was very tall. That was the fashion of the day. Okay, I have a black pastel. I have a dark gray and a light gray. Now, if all you have is black, that's fine. You can go very softly on the black and get a great gray looking color. So, here we go. Take your black and we're going to start with the top of the hat. That wasn't hard. It looks like a little bit of a curvy line. Okay, and then we're going to come down on one side and come down on the other. Now, if they're not exactly even, it's okay. Don't worry. All right. Now, because these hats had what's called a brim or an area to help cover the eyes so you wouldn't get sun in your eyes, it starts back around here. This is the starting point. So, we're going to come around like this. This. And if you're not sure that it's going to match up, start your other side there and meet up. Okay, you've got your hat. All right, let's put in the ribbon. All of men's hats had ribbon on them. I don't know whether it was put there purely for decoration or if it was to make sure it sat on your head just exactly right. Okay. Now, there's your ribbon. And let's give this brim, this is the brim down here, a little bit of definition. So we're going to start right here and we're just going to give it a little bit of definition. I gave mine a lot. You can correct this when you color it black. All right. Now, we're going to take our black, as you can see, and we're going to fill in the brim. You can start with the brim or the tall part of the hat. I'm going to come down and get rid of some of this definition on this there. Now, as you can see, I didn't come all the way to the edge. What's this? This is your painter finger. And you can 
Smooth it out and smooth it in. Now I'm going to fill in the top part. I think you know how to fill your solid part in. And although my hand may be in the way a little bit, it's okay because you know what I'm doing. All right, taking my finger and I am smoothing in the black. Okay, now the ribbon. Let's take the dark gray and if you have a dark gray, or you may use your black, and very lightly, very lightly, see it's almost a blue gray. And I've turned it on the side. Painter finger. Smoothing that in. And then the light's going to be coming from this side, the left-hand side. So we're going to put a little bit of light here on the ribbon. Do you know what this ribbon is called? It's a French ribbon. Well, I don't know if exactly this particular ribbon came from France, but it's a grow grain ribbon. That's G-R-O-S, grain, G-R-A-I-N. So, we've got light here on the ribbon and a little bit of light on his hat. Now, you, you can take a white, if I could find one, there's one, and you could really get some light on there if you like. And let's just get this brim colored. And I think Mr. Lincoln can go riding in his carriage. He can go to church or he can go calling on someone if, if he likes because we have a fine stovepipe hat. Now, if you're to the point to where you're finished, I want you to take your favorite color pastel and sign your name here in the corner. And take your painting and turn it over and name it Lincoln's Hat. We couldn't be anything else but Lincoln's Hat because it's so tall and today's date. And then I want you to go and put this in a place of honor in your house. I would also like for you to send us in some photos of your completed artwork. We'd love to see them. You know, I just love to ooh and ah over all of your artwork. And if you want to share this video with your fellow artists, that would even be better. Then you can have a chance to get with them and paint the stovepipe hat again with them. And people will look at it and say, Oh my goodness, you, you are, are an artist. artist. Now hold on, don't go anywhere because there's another, another painting to come, okay? We're going to put our stovepipe pats away and we're going to finish up this video and if everyone will just stay right here on the Facebook page, you'll see a brand new video and what is it going to be of, Nana? We are going to the Winter Games. So excited. Okay, remember, you're an artist, and we'll see you right back here.